from Davis Wade Stadium in Starkville Mississippi 12th ranked LSU 2 and 0 and feeling really good. But what's right in front of them one of the loudest environments in college football Mississippi State the Bulldogs also 2 and 0. As Geist spins his way for possession. Danny Etling to pass as he gets it complete to five. And he muscles his way to move the chain. Down for a little play action deep shot. And this is Edwards Alaire from that wing position. They will and now they shift to an unbalanced line. As they go with the tackle over, as you saw Weathersby come over to the left side. Play action off of it. Etling looking downfield. Chark wide open. How about it? Flag is down. Pass interference. Offense number 10. He was running his route. You're absolutely right, Todd. So it's second and 29, even with that. And here is Chark again, finding a little bit of strength. Maybe Felipe a Franks breakthrough too. moment that Felipe Franks needed at this stage of his career development. Third and 17. Etling. Gonna tuck and run. Picked up a block from Morrow as he stretches it out. Josh Browden, punt. Sophomore from Sydney, Australia. Fair catch at the really run. He's not a make you miss runner or a power runner like Tim Tebow was in this offense. But if he gets on the perimeter, he can outrun angles. And here is Fitzgerald picked up a really nice block. And just like that, moving the outstanding speed when he gets to the perimeter. He was a wide receiver for a good amount of time in his high school career. Here's Eris Williams and another nice block and a big chunk play for the Bulldogs. Runs right out of the gate for the Bulldogs. 16 yards Fitzgerald, 19 yards Williams. Good start for Mississippi State. And now a completed pass as he goes underneath the key. Field is shaded now, but it was toasting in the sun at nearly 90 degrees for most of the day. And that is incomplete. Check in with Holly in just a bit. Second and 20. With him back on the field. Third and 16. Pressure on Fitzgerald. That time. Charges just get better and better each time I come. With good reason. With all the recent success and especially this fan support. Etling off of the play action. As he's able to get it to John David Moore. And a great block. Here's Geis finding enough of a creep. They showed in their first two games. Geis this time met for LSU. They're one for two on third downs. Their last one, a long yardage situation. Etling. Ball was batted down at the line of scrimmage by Allen. Again, as Gray sets up shot back at the 27. Be stayed if it's roughing the kicker or running into personal foul, leaping the punch shield number 41 on the defense, 15 yard penalty. Result of the penalty is a first down. The first year at LSU as the offensive coordinator, tackle over again. And now more in motion as they will pass again. Etling downfield. Looking for Chark, but it was defended. Defensive coordinator Todd Grantham, who started his recruiting process there to make his way to Athens. Tackle over again. And here's Gage on the reverse jet motion, and they ran it perfectly. Abram, McCorn, and company. Dogs parking. The ball every play. Third and ten. Pressure up the middle. Etling extending. And incomplete as he was looking for. Breakdown in communication. First time they've played on the road. For Mississippi State. Let's see how they deal with one of the best 
edge rushers in the game now. As Harris Williams. And I just glanced to see Hurts 4 of 5, 115 in a touch already. Going to be a fun night for them down there. Here's Fitzgerald, second and five, and he gets it complete to the big. Run the ball and so fluid downfield. Quarterback run for Fitzgerald. Very offense as a dual threat guy. You saw there he only had 133 yards of total offense against the Tigers a year ago. Makes for a first and 16. As he will keep. And he will get. A Even though it took him a while to be a starting quarterback. Not to a senior year in high school. Second and 10. Williams. As he was met just short. He's under center now. Checking at the line on third and four. Williams running out of options. Struggling to get back to the line. As he does get ahead. Punt return he had and took one back. And won't get a chance here. A scoop and score. And in the ball game. Here's that tackle overload as the tight ends shift to the left side. Williams again as he was It's a pass Etling with time but overthrew Foster most then Brown on to punt again As gray was driven all the way back to the 20 yard line Coverage unit couldn't chase him down. He made the most of it yet here in the first quarter and we're under a minute Arden key not out there for the Tigers here Fitzgerald With time gonna take a shot downfield, but that is beyond Second down Williams Lowers that shoulder and gets a little something extra. Playing the same position that Arden Key would play. There's Fitz with a completion out to Keith Mixon. Because I've watched you prepare. I've watched you work for this moment. You put the time in for this moment. Go explode on the field, enjoy it, love on each other, and play as hard as you can for 60 minutes and dominate this game. Grab a hand, grab a hand, grab a hand. Dan Mullen, the man who has led Mississippi State to the winningest eight-year stretch in school history. Donald Gray right here. They're going to get him involved real soon. Perfect time after that long timeout at the end of the quarter. First play of the second quarter. There's play action. He's looking that way, but then had to come back and check down. Third down. Second down and ten right now. Haven't seen a screen yet out of Mississippi State either. There's Williams. He bounces it well into open space. Harris Williams. Devin White and a big run for the Bulldogs. 27 yard run for the A train. As he lead blocks for Fitzgerald, who took a shot. That when your quarterback runs the ball as much as Nick Fitzgerald does. This time he shows it, fakes it, comes back, and he's able to get it to Mixon. And Mixon works all the way back and gets the safe completion. Fitzgerald up and over, score it, Mississippi State. Great job by the right guard, Deion Calhoun, and the right tackle, Stuart Reese, paving the way for their big quarterback. in the country his move to Catholic High down there back home was life-altering and here he is with a spin move out to the 40 Holly they have all pitched in together to help this young man be where he is today he talks about how appreciative 
he has been for that sacrifice and that commitment. Here he goes again, trying to push the pile. Maybe third and one when we reset here. Third and one. Full backfield with a whole lot of weight. And that guy behind him. And look at how he gets low. Swap the tackle for tight end. Overload near side. As guys this time only able to get maybe a Jew. They really pressure you. You have to communicate well and then be set when the ball is snapped. Geis, good block. He's dangerous in this spot. And a stiff arm for an extra run. Checks in now as the lone back. Chark to the top of your screen. See, here is and the here is sweep. Dylan as they give it to Dylan. And he Or even if you just stand Holy in his way. Offense number seven. And more costly because it cost him points. Williams. As he's able to get down to the... They have three so far, and one of them shouldn't have been called. First and goal. Williams! Big man on campus is Nick Fitzgerald. 6'5", quarterback leading the way. As Williams goes ahead for... One yards of total offense. LSU 139, and even sevens on the scoreboard. Sprint near side. And able to get it complete. Confident quarterback. Williams out past the 40. Adnan, what's the ball game so far? He's their best receiver. Option to the near side and met with. Especially with this young defense, a lot simpler and let the speed kind of take over. Fitzgerald. Right over the middle, he was looking for options, and Keith Mixon is looking for a flag, and he's going to find it. Williams patiently waiting for the hole, and a good job of doing so to the 20. Those first two games. Dontavian Lee comes in at running back. Gets the carry, and will move the chain. Back is a running threat. It is very difficult to defend. That time, Fitzgerald. Holly's point, eighth play of this drive. Fitzgerald. As he goes just beyond the line of scrimmage. And that now for Mississippi State. Quarterback run is a, is a factor. Nearly picked off his first field goal of his college career. 30-yarder for Chrisman. Geis loses yardage. Etling on first and 22. He is a force to be reckoned with on the inside. Geis trying to get some of this yardage back. Out. Third and 15. Etling shovels it forward as he was nearly taken down. Just got it to the sack. But Mississippi State with another stop on third down. And this is a bad punt by Groudon. And it takes a worse bounce just lingering at mid. At the end of the half because they'll get the ball to start the third quarter. But with this field position, Dan Mullen's going to be aggressive. And here it is from Fitzgerald. And he was looking for Gray downfield. And he says, would have been P.I. if he was down there. Second and ten. Williams unable to turn the corner. Dead down play for him right here. Empty set for Fitzgerald on third and 11.
And a first down with Green. Good athletic group of tight ends led by Farad Green. Still three timeouts to work with as we come up on two minutes to play in this first half. Good job of Nick Fitzgerald spreading the football around to multiple receivers and tight ends. Williams leaping, hurtling, and getting about eight and a half yards. Now they run option, and Fitzgerald struggles to get back to the lot. Dan Mullen managing this final minute here, third and one. And Fitz is going to pick it up. And now three timeouts. Now they got to think about how to better manage this final half minute. Will he take a shot? Pressured and brought down Arden Key doing what? Stay in the game. Twenty-seven seconds remain. Here he is to pass again. A lot of time under route this time. Mixon inside the ten puts on a move and to the end zone. Kylan Hill in the game here. Fitzgerald again probing the interior. Remember two timeouts remain. The big one is 83. Thomas 6'5, 280. Can he get in? Yes, he does it again. Nick Fitzgerald. Standing. Quarter, but I think for the LSU defense to make a statement, this is a very important possession right here. And it'll start with Williams as he is taken. Well, as LSU, but uh, they've got to come up with some stops here. And Thomas wrestled down by Jackson. He's a very thoughtful guy, interesting guy to talk to. Third and two. Fitzgerald looking and threw it to the outside. Personal foul, roughly the pass with targeting. Number Ex nine. Actually, well, they called the penalty on Grant First Delpit, down. the safely unavoidable penalty, or avoidable penalty, if Donnie Alexander just pulls off. And here's Williams. Picks up a good block from a receiver downfield and a chunk play as Mississippi State is on the move again. 19-yard run. Williams. Another strong effort. Makes for a second and seven. You got safety help coming over the top on Donald Gray. Third down and four. Fitzgerald. And coming out of the backfield was William. And I think the out of the pass game. Here's Chark. As he turns the corner, his run down. Geis. Stacked up after a gain of maybe a yard and a half in the SEC right there. Big number 94. Third and two goes incomplete. Quick Passing slant. Defense. defense. Number 38. Ball is placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Geis. Kept his footing for a moment. Second and four, tackle for a loss. Edling to pass. Right in the face mask of Russ. Fifth punt of the night for Browden. To the airport. Play action, Fitzgerald, pressure comes, but able to get rid of it. But it's home against Syracuse. Three yards from equal footing with you, 
if you make those kind of mistakes. Fitzgerald, quick strike and quickly met. For Dave Aranda to manage that defense and the personnel. Third and one, and that should be right. Here's Gray, and he will tap him. It's more aware of what a quarterback's supposed to do now. Second and three. Williams brought down by Glenn Logan. Hart has been outstanding tonight. Third and one. Hit that ball on the hip well, and Mixon's going to walk in. Oh, what a night for Fitzgerald. Straight completions for Nick Fitzgerald. A 45-yard touch. Dice, tough to find anything. That is a sneaky good game right there, Adnan. Oh, off the hands of DJ Chark. Missed. Third and seven. Incomplete. Too much of this. Josh Groudon punting again. Donald Gray. Could he? Cuts back. He's got space. Spins. Still on his feet. Picking up blocks. And it's that kind of night for the dogs. That mesh point was a little awkward, but this is pure beauty for Fitzgerald again. Tackle Fitzgerald. Boy, he can accelerate with that 6'5", 230-pound frame, can he? As Williams gets ahead close to the Fitzgerald. Pulls this time and barely gets back to the line. Third and five. Looks back to this side and then throws it away. Two for two. Make it three for three. Five drives. And you see four punts among them. Keep in mind the two penalties taking out touchdowns and two penalties targeting with ejections to defensive players as well. Jeffrey. But he has come to play. Here's that jet sweep with Gage as he tries third down and five. Etling trying to extend it, trying to survive it. Kylan Hill, the true freshman from nearby Columbus, Mississippi, in at running back. Fitzgerald downfield again. And he in passes defended per game. Williams as he cut back and had good blocking set up. Question is, how can LSU possibly come back from this? Third and four. Fitzgerald. Well run pattern by Donald Gray. Just fine in that seam on the inside. First down dog. Just of this season. Williams. He's going to walk away here with a really nice stat line. Good night. Keeps. Big run, Fitzgerald. Every which way, Nick Fitzgerald. Targeting ejections. He's going to pass off of it. And another touchdown. Cedric Thomas. Nick Fitzgerald is lighting them up. Playing the run before making the throw. Etling wants to try to make something of it. No, the best for Fred. What a night it is for him. Etling quickly to the near side and gets a complete to Dipper of LSU. Up until four minutes left in the ballgame.
And Ling steps up, shovels it ahead to Dillon, and that works out just fine inside. Tonight. Remains first down, checks down again to Williams, and again it works out as Williams able to cut, spin, and then. Edling with time. It's the way in the contact. But the new shame, <laughs> more nimble. Second and ten go is going to be quite the clash next Saturday night in that town. Dogs versus dogs. Bully versus Ugga. As this big dog has really blossomed into something. Simmons. Wow. Flag is down as John David Moore is the target. The Nittany Lions. Here's Lee picking up about three and a half. Look. Bob Wishes and Brock Hewitt will be on the call of that game. Look forward to with 146. Fitzgerald with 88. Third and eight. Fitzgerald. It's been a smart actually practice. And then the other great gift of that stage of his development is the legend was here at the time. Dak Pres Prescott. Prescott. Loyaga is treated like a king, isn't he? That is going to be quite the showdown next week. At length. To really show something, Mississippi State looks like a team. If they keep working, we'll be able to play right with Alabama. There's a well-executed shovel tomorrow for a first. Burnett is so talented. Of course, the guy throwing him the ball is pretty now. Clemson defense is for real. Oh, I that mean, front. <laughs> they've got some real guys on that defensive front. Shovel doesn't work. Now we'll take this third and one. And LSU will move the chains. Well, but are you telling me? And then start assigning numbers. We found out something about Mississippi State tonight. There was motion, and now there is no motion with Danny mm -hmm. Ocho has got to clean that up. Second and 14. Etling wide open over the middle is Gage. Here's a screen and Dylan as he bubbles it. Incomplete looking for Dylan. Third and 11. away by Leo Lewis down a gap pressure picked up launched and nearly intercepted it'll be a turnover he's forced run fits eye control and played deep balls down the field I would say those habits have been full effect tonight so he gets to clean things up here what will be a big night of celebrating here in Starkville on the list and then work to improve the efficiency of your passing game on offense. Here's Nick Gibson with a first down. No, this was. If this was just a dominating effort on both sides of the ball by Mississippi State. You know, to your point, take it, no ways that they can attack you. Gibson again. Probably know what the offense is but then you look at that defense as Thompson will have another first down and top indexes and now Blackledge you've got the big boy pants index is this good but not tonight not anymore there's always a team or two that everybody missed on and perhaps it is these Bulldogs as Dan Mullins bunch will move their mark to 3-0 with an absolute beatdown of LSU.